So now we're going to do the preparation again. That's just our preferred technique, which makes that foil so easy to clean out. You end up having all of the foil all at once, all there. And the funny thing is, the embroidery is still the longest part. The laser is always the quickest part. So having the one NGL laser can supplement 10, 6, 4, 20, 50 embroidery heads, no problem. So it's under 8 feet tall. It's a single phase electricity. You can install the software on your PC. We just happen to use a notebook. In this case, it's uh, with a USB plug-in at the back. And that's it. Not having the hooping press makes your life difficult because you won't be able to keep up with it. And again, I, I apologize for having a long, boring video on embroidery, but the point is to show you the smooth flow and the output. So like I said, you can eliminate the perforation and take a little bit more time picking out the foil. By our calculation, it's a lot quicker just to do the perforation and then move on. For this, I'll show you something interesting. Scott, can you hold the laser for me? This is a piece of the uh, material. Can you put it right against here? And I want to show any. If you can see that in the video, can you just point this? It's a bit dark there. Where is it now? See right there? See, there's the material. And that's a laser pointer. Take the laser pointer away. Let's stay here so I can get it all at once. So what I've got here is simply a laser pointer, right? And what I'm doing is I'm putting against the material. Can you hold it right there, Scott? Just move it around slowly. Do you see the uh, red dot right where my thumb is? Right there on the paper? Right there? That laser is shining through the felt. And if this big fat laser, a pointer laser, can get through the felt, then the NGL laser, which is thinner than a hair, is going to vaporize this material and you can't adjust it. It's bogus to say that people can adjust it and not cut the t-shirt that's underneath. So for this reason, we put the layer of foil underneath the felt because the best person in the world can't control the inconsistency. And as I move this here, it's coming in and out. So there is no laser on the planet that can accommodate the inconsistency of the material. And again, look at the size of my dot. It's a big, fat line. The laser that's cutting is not this thick. It's a, a, a thousands of this width. Okay, thanks a lot, Scott. Now, if you, you want to grab the white, you have a white piece of uh, felt. So I'm going to grab a white piece of felt. And it's even worse. So I'll use the blue here so it's a bit dark. So look at that. Can you point to that light there because in the video camera? Right there. So I'm shining through and there's a lot of the red light going through. Okay, see that? So if, it, if this big regular pointer laser sends it through then you can guarantee that uh, the the cutting laser will always get through. And that's the reason for the foil. And that's what most salespeople won't tell you. They'll try and sell you the laser based on not needing foil. And then when you go into production, you'll lose your mind and you'll have call us for the foil anyways. And I say that because it's happened. So just throw it into the laser. They're going to pick the 09 file. Now they're, what they're doing is they're shooting the red beam that's built into here. There's a lot of light, so it's a bit hard to see. There you go. Okay, now you can fire that off. Okay.
Okay, so now you'd pull this out and take it to a cleaning station. We'll just clean it here for you on the spot. Perfect. So let's do it again with something different. 